This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at new features inside Adobe software. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you the brand new color match feature in Adobe Premiere. For the first time, we have the ability to see two images side by side. Here, for instance, I have some train footage that was shot by Fran and Miles Hale of Model Railroad Builders, and I'm very grateful to Miles to traveling to St. Louis to get this shot. The first shot, the color looks okay. In the second shot, it looks blue-green. I'm not exactly sure how blue-green, but definitely blue-green. So let me put my playhead, oh, in the middle of the second clip. And let's change workspaces from the editing workspace to the color workspace. Now the Lumetri color panel appears, and if we go down to where it says color wheels and match, several new options appear. I just simply clicked color wheels and match, and notice there's this new button called comparison view. Couple things to point out. Notice that my playhead is in the clip that I want to compare to a reference. Notice also, and I'm not exactly sure when this showed up, whenever I move my playhead into a clip, Premiere automatically selects that clip. In the past, we'd move the playhead, then we'd have to go down and select the clip. Now it's a single process. And I'm going to park it on this marker. Not that the marker is necessary, because it isn't. It's just an indicator that I'm using, so I can reference the same point. With this clip that I want to refer to a reference selected, click Comparison View, and it opens up two side-by-side -side views, a reference clip on the left and the clip that I want to adjust on the right. As I look at those two clips, the color is off on the one on the right. It's leaning toward blue and green. Hmm. It'd be nice if I could correct it. Well, clearly we can. We're in the Lumetri color panel. I can adjust. Let me just pull this over a bit. I can adjust one of these color wheels or the other color correction aids, but this requires me, one, to understand how they work, and two, to understand how to read scopes, and three, that I have enough time to be able to make all those changes. What happens if you are just cranking to get this thing online as fast as possible? Think sports highlights or some paparazzi shooting for TMZ. You don't have a lot of time to do a manual correction. That's where these two new options apply, face detection and apply match. I'm going to turn face detection off for a minute. We're going to talk about that more shortly. But what apply match does is when I click it, it looks at the reference frame, considers the grayscale value, the color value, and the saturation value, looks at this frame, and then applying Adobe Sensei, which is the artificial intelligence component of Premiere, it will color correct the right-hand shot based upon the color values in the left-hand shot. Okay, watch the right-hand shot in two, one, click, and it's improved. Now, those of you that have experience with color matching will look at this and say, yeah, Larry, it's improved, but it's still blue. And you're absolutely right. This is called color match, and it is a fast and easy way to improve problem color. But it is not as good as somebody who has an understanding of how color correction works and can read scopes. So if you're in a hurry, or if you don't understand color grading, the color match is a great way to fix problem shots. But here for me is the really exciting part. What the apply match button has done is it simply changed the settings in the color wheels below. Notice the shadows haven't been changed because it's got that hollow center. Highlights both in terms of grayscale and color value and midtones in terms of grayscale and color value have been changed because they're solid circles now. But I can go into the color wheels and grab this and say still too blue. Let's make it a little less blue and give some more life to that gravel because I'm looking at the gravel color here compared to the gravel color there. It's leaning toward gray, green rather. Let's take some of that green away, and we can manually adjust the setting even though Color Match has got me started. I don't have to accept it. I can start with where it leaves off and color grade from there. 
Now, the saturation setting is not inside the color wheel. Saturation is here upside creative, and it will also tweak saturation if necessary. And I could adjust the saturation by grabbing a slider and dragging it. But one thing I've learned is the settings process from top to bottom. So when I adjust the saturation in creative, the color wheels are applied after the saturation, which means changing the saturation is going to affect the color grade. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at new features inside Adobe software. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 252. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times every month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.